It just makes me crazy when I can't remember someone's name, but luckily it's not a predictor of losing your mind. But do you think you're on a cognitive decline? Because if you have this awareness, this tends to happen years before you actually get a cognitive diagnosis. So if you think you are, I always recommend seeing a functional medicine practitioner and seek help. Now, what do I think is the main cause of cognitive decline, Alzheimer's dementia, is a mixture of toxins and infections that cause inflammation in the body, and this really affects the brain. For years, drug companies have been searching for a drug that helps treat and manage what's called myeloid plaque in the brain. This is like a scar tissue that is found on autopsy of most dementia and Alzheimer's patients. What I think causes amyloid plaque is your body's reaction to these toxins and infections. Your body's trying to protect and heal itself. There's actually a blood test nowadays to check for myeloid plaque. So what do you do? I always recommend looking for identifying and managing the underlying cause, the toxins and infections, and it's very important to follow lifestyle aspects like diet. You want to avoid continued inflammation, toxin, chemical exposures by eating a clean diet. Sleep. You always want to get enough sleep. Your brain recovers, rejuvenates, and detoxes through the night. And if you have sleep apnea, depriving your brain of oxygen all night is not going to help anything. Exercise helps everything from circulation, detoxing, and so on. And lastly, stress management and mindfulness. If you're really stressed, cortisol will make everything worse and more inflammation. So that's enough for today. Stay tuned. I will talk more about these underlying causes, toxins, infections, and what you can do. Research shows that clicking the thumbs up and subscribe button will make fingers healthy and strong. And besides, it's free.